Time to play with some clay. Well, today I'm going to work on his head and uh, probably start his hair. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do first and, uh, and then I'm going to figure out whether I want to put a uh, wrap around his head or what. I think it'll add to it if I do. Um, it'll balance it out a lot and it'll look, uh, I think it'll look good. But I just got to figure everything out as I go. All right, I'll be back in a second when I get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make them uh, take pictures of, of this as a model. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see how this looks with this wrapped around his head. And uh, I may have to use a little thinner material. This is a, an old pillowcase that I've cut to a seven inch wide uh, piece of cloth and I'm going to yeah it's going to have to be wet I think for me to get the proper yeah what I'm trying to do is get something that I can work from photograph wise for the uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, it's got to be about, oh, maybe quarter size longer. So, but you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the wrinkles in the uh, wrap so that I can photograph all the way around and uh, work out the wrinkles in the uh, clay. Could just leave it hanging like that. Now it's going to have to be longer and it's going to have to be a lighter material and I'm going to have to probably wet it to get it to act like a uh, shawl that size. Anyway, all right, I'll be right back. Well, it is Christmas Day and the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> kind of. I got an old t-shirt and I'm going to try this first. And I've got to... Throw that over his shoulder. It's going to have to be wet to do this right. And I want to put the uh, staff 
over his shoulders so that he can react to the staff. shorter. I think what I'm going to do is take the center of it, which is right there. Whoops. Watch the staff, Dave. Don't wreck the staff. And cut it evenly so that uh, I got an even length to it. side. Try this again. Fold it under. this over this. Like he's taken the cloth that's hanging straight down his uh, front and he's shown one side of it over his shoulder. Gives me some good wrinkles, but I'm gonna to have to do this with wet uh, clay, I think. Or not wet clay, but wet uh, cloth. Mm -hmm. Let's put the uh, staff back over it. See how it looks. Make it look like he's taking a staff and just put it over his shoulders. so he's got a little room to turn his head if he wanted to. Yeah, I like that. And the center is right down the center of his head, so I have the exact same length on both sides. It's just that when this one is wrapped around, it cuts down the length. Let's see what it looks like just hanging. I could have it just hanging, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Alright, I'm going to go wet the cloth and then see what it looks like. Now before I do all that, I'm going to do his hair. I don't know if I'm going to do all his hair. I don't know. i got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm still playing with the idea of everything, so pardon me if I seem a little disjointed as far as what I'm doing. I'm doing is just blocking in the hair. I'm not uh, interested in the high detail. And now that I know the action of the uh, cloth that will be around his head, 
I'm going to tuck in the hair just a little bit because it would have a reaction to how that uh, thing is going around over his, over his uh, shoulder. on the hair but I'm only going to do it in the front part because it ain't going to matter about the back part Actually, do the uh, scarf around his neck and head. I'm not going to show that. I'm going to show you the after effects because I cover stuff like that in some of my videos, uh, where there's clay, clay, and and uh, I mean not clay, but clothing and, and items like that. Cover something in this video that somebody else pays to get from my DVDs. And I hope you understand that. It's not that I'm trying to be mean, I just don't want to be mean to the people who spend good money for my DVDs. This uh, anchors his uh, head in this position now. It won't be moving anymore. And that's a good thing. Okay. All right. Ah! I took a dinner break and came back. I ended up not doing what I was going to do with the scarf. I ended up doing it in a shortcut way. And what I mean by that is, let me get my hands on these. I got the wrong way. There we go. I got to do the hands next. Before I do the sleeves, I got to do the hands. But uh, as you can see, he's turning out pretty good. Uh, what I did was uh, I took that T-shirt. And uh, I dipped it in uh, wax to uh, get this effect. Doing it with clay is, would have taken me forever, and I just didn't feel like I wanted to spend a lot of time uh, with that. It was uh, easier to do it with the uh, wax, and I, I cover using wax in videos that I've produced. Uh, and uh, it's an easy way of doing something that uh, ends up looking really good when you're done. And that's uh, what I wanted to do. Anyway, I'm going to um, leave this pretty much like it is because I like the texture on this uh, scarf. And uh, it's different than the uh, texture on everything else. The reason I did that was because it just it just saved me a lot of time and clay. And I'm always trying to save all that because 
Clay is very expensive. A t-shirt isn't. <laughs> well, depends on the t-shirt, I guess. But uh, I am going to add uh, some fill-ins behind so I can uh, they can cast this easily. But uh, that's something I'll do after Christmas. Well, it's after Christmas now. It's I got here this morning and off and on all day long I've been working on this and I really like the way it's coming out and uh, I used uh, well I <clears throat> like I said I cover this method in uh, I think the uh, sculpt the uh, video on uh, creating uh, sweet grass which uh, I've uh, got for sale on my uh, instructional DVD list, and uh, it's a it's complicated, and you got to be real careful because you can burn yourself, and you got to do it in such a way that it doesn't come out looking like cloth dipped in clay. It's got to look sculptural, and uh, at some point I'm going to work on his hair. I just wanted to get this thing to a point where I like it. Um, I've also uh, covered be before in my videos how I <coughs> uh, let's see, I'm trying to find my sculpting tool right now. I can never find anything when I want it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, I've covered a lot of this stuff in my videos uh, that I show on YouTube and on my instructional DVDs. Uh, not all of them. Uh, I don't have this on all of them. I think I have it on uh, creating a, a mountain man from scratch and uh, or creating a mountain man. Anyway, and then I cover how I'm make the clay or the uh, dipped material which would be really dark brown because the wax is uh, victory brown wax and it's very dark and I cover how to make it look like the clay because you when you're taking pictures of your original clay you don't want to confuse people uh, with what you've done there's nothing wrong with doing uh, material dipped in wax or clay or some other material. Uh, I did a sculpture of a Native American with a war bonnet. It was a large piece and I wanted to put a blanket over his shoulder and uh, I didn't want to take too much money, I mean use too much clay doing that because I was going to have to have a lot of clay when I did that and I ended up uh, getting some fabric stiffener from uh, the uh, local hobby store up in Bozeman and, uh, and stiffening the uh, cloth that way. You really have to have the uh, melted wax at the perfect temperature and then you got to work the cloth at the perfect temperature too because you can't burn your fingers but you got to get it when it's well at a certain temperature where you're if you're touching it you're not burning your fingers but yet it's soft enough and pliable enough that you can uh, manipulate the wrinkles and make it look uh, pretty darn good. Um, this wrinkle this here is just a little too sharp so I'm gonna stick my tool up underneath here and round it out a little bit. So it's it's a uh, it's a way of doing it. Um, I didn't want to putting clay on this because I like the way it is and if I put clay on it would obliterate a lot of the uh, 
the wrinkles that I've got in it, that I can still take a tool and uh, manipulate the wrinkles a little bit too, but you got to be careful of that too. You don't want to overdo that either. So I guess the next thing I'm going to do is uh, work on his face and his uh, hair. And I'm thinking about putting some of this hair hanging outside the uh, scarf so that it adds to the design. I'm also, I was watching a video of, uh, 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 featuring, you know, with something about Christ today. And he had a outfit that he's wearing that had kind of a sewn on colored, different colored patch on the front of his uh, clothing. And uh, I'm thinking about doing that too with this. And uh, I just got to figure out how I'm going to do the pattern, if I'm going to do a pattern at all. And uh, it's got to be different than all the other patterns in this uh, clay. I'm happy the way that turned out. It uh, came out uh, just the way I wanted it to and in a timely manner, which it's always nice to do. So anyway, that's uh, where it comes at now. And uh, the next thing I need to do is start working on his hands. And then I can work on the, sl the uh, sleeves. Uh, his robe will... The sleeve for the robe will come down about to the elbow. And then he'll have a... Un this garment here uh, will have a sleeve going up to his wrist. And... Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. Uh, get the wrinkles in it and all that stuff. It's perfect. So that's where I'm at tonight, uh, Christmas night. And again, I really hope all of you had a great Christmas. And uh, I hope the up and coming New Year, which is a week, I think a week from today. Holy cow! 2020. It's just a week away. Unbelievable how time flies when you're having fun. All right. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.